Tonight's lesson is lesson 13.2, area. Our essential question is, how can you use a formula to find the area of a shape? Now you should be on page 249 in your GoMath book and make sure that you're writing this essential question down at the top of that page. Now sometimes when we are finding the area of a shape, we can just count the square units inside the shape. But sometimes we won't have the square units, so we'll have to use a formula to find the area. Here's our formula. Area equals base times height. So as long as we have the base and the height of a shape, we can find the area. Now notice the base is the bottom of the shape. It could also be, if the sides are equal, the top of this shape. Our height is how tall the, the shape is, so that would be the number on the side. And it's if both sides are equal, it would be on this side as well. As long as we can multiply the base times the height, we can find the area of the shape. Number one in Argo math book says, find the area of the rectangle or square. Well, we have a rectangle. And we know that we have a base of 12 feet and a height of 9 feet. So let's remember our formula for to find the area of a rectangle. We know that its area equals base times the height. Well, we know that we have a base of 12 feet, so we're going to plug that in, and we have a height of 9 feet. So all we have to do is multiply 12 times 9, and we'll get our area. So 12 times 9, I know, is 108. And it's 108 square feet. So please make sure that you remember that it's 108 square feet. And that's how we find our area. Okay, let's look at number two. We have to find the area of this square. Now I know that it's a square because you can see that the height and the base are the same. So that means that, remember, a square has all equal sides. So we know our formula is the area equals base times height. Well, we know that we have a height of 8 or I'm sorry, a base of eight, so and a height of eight also. So all I have to do is multiply eight times eight, and I will get the area 64. And remember, it's 64 square yards. And here's the reason why it's square yards. If I were to cut my square up into square units, like I did here, I would have 64 square, and then my units are yards, so square yards. So that's why each of the areas, each unit is a square unit. So we have to make sure that we have square yards. Okay, here's number three in your Go Math book. Now, it says that we have a height of 3 meters and a base of 15 meters. And I want you to find the area. Now remember our area formula is area equals base times height. So go ahead and work on number three. Press play whenever you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, you should have multiplied your base times your height, which was 15 times 3. And make sure that you're checking over here. This is where I did my 15 times 3, and then I got 45 square meters for my area. So make sure that you have 45 square meters. Okay, here's number 4. Go ahead and work on number 4 on your own, and we'll go over it in just a second. Press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, here's our answer. We knew that we had a base of 13 and a height of 6. So we had to multiply 13 times 6. So when I multiplied 13 times 6 over here, I got 78. So my answer should have been 78 square, and then we're in inches. So square inches. Make sure that you have the square inches. I hope you got that one right also. Here's number five in your Go Math book, and we have a base of 30 centimeters and a height of five centimeters. So try this one on your own. Press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, here's our answer to number five. I had a base of 30 
centimeters and a height of five centimeters. So I multiplied 30 times five and I did three times five, which is 15. And then I added my zero. So your answer should have been 150 square centimeters. Okay, here's number six. Now I wanna make sure that you watch the video for tonight. So next to number six, can you draw me your very best smiley face? And can you give your smiley face some star eyes? So make sure that you have this next to number six. Now let's look at number six. We need to find the area for this rectangle. So remember, our area formula is area equals base times Height. So go ahead, try this one on your own. Press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, let's go over the answer. My base was 14 and my height was four. So I had to multiply 14 times four, which I did over here. So make sure you're checking your regrouping. And when I multiplied 14 times four, I got 56 square feet. To make sure that you have 56 square feet. I hope you got that one right. Okay, here's number seven, our problem solving question. It says Megan is putting wallpaper on a wall that measures eight feet by 12 feet. How much wallpaper does Megan need to cover the wall? Now that word cover is a clue word for me and that tells me to find the area of the wall that she needs to cover with her wallpaper. So go ahead and work on this problem. Press play when you're ready to go over it. Okay, here's our answer for number seven. You should have multiplied 12 feet by eight feet and you would have gotten 96 square feet. A good way to show your work on this problem is to draw the actual rectangle and put your 12 feet and your eight feet for the base and the height. And here's how I regrouped to, to multiply 12 times eight. So you should have gotten 96 square feet. I hope you got that one right. All right, here's number eight in your Go Math book. It says Bryson is laying down sod in his yard to grow a new lawn. Each piece of sod is one foot by one foot square. How many pieces of sod will Bryson need to cover his yard if his yard measures 30 feet by 14 feet? Now go ahead and I would draw a rectangle for this one and work out the problem. Press play when you're ready to go over it. Okay, our answer should have been 420 pieces. That's how many pieces he will need to cover his yard that measures 30 feet by 14 feet. It's right here. And if all we had to do was multiply 30 feet times 14 feet, and I did that right here. So make sure you're checking your work. And we should have gotten 420 pieces. Remember, they wanted to know how many pieces of sod will Bryson need to cover his yard. So I hope you got that one right. Here are the homework questions for tonight. Now for number one, you're gonna have to find the area for Ellie's model and the area for Heather's model. And then you'll need to tell me which model represents the greater area and how much greater is it. For number two, you're going to have to find how many pieces of square carpet Tyra will need. And make sure whenever you get done with numbers one and two that you also do questions three through six on page 250. At the top of page 250, make sure that you are assessing yourself and telling me what level you think you are after doing the homework. Here are the homework questions again. Good luck tonight and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.